if distance isn't an issue and you're okay being further out from town, this might be for you. You might be in for a treat. We're jumping into it right now. If you get any value out of this, do us a solid like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified every time we kick new content out each and every week. Hey, got a question? Reach out, call, text, email, DM, send out the carrier pigeons, whatever you need to do to get that question answered. I'm talking to people each and every day. I'm helping and I love it. So, you got a question? Reach out. Hey, I might not be the best fit for you, but you're never going to know until you reach out. So, Plugs aside, we're getting into it. All right, so we're heading up to Newton. Newton, Kansas. It's going to be in Harvey County. So it's roughly about 27 miles from Wichita. Yeah, about, it was about 30 minute drive for me. Give you a little bit. Letting everybody know we're not steering you towards, we're not steering you away. Just giving you the facts. Harvey County, this is going to be another one of the bigger spots. Uh, if you hop on niche.com, they'll call this a suburb of Wichita. I personally don't consider it a suburb of Wichita. We'll uh, throw up a little, uh, we'll throw up the map you an idea of where exactly it's at. It's going to be north, way north of Wichita. You're going to be passing uh, Park City. You're going to be passing Valley Center. You get a little bit of everything here, to be honest. We'll jump off here. I've closed several homes down here. And really, you can get a little bit of everything down here. It's rural. Uh, there's some spots in town. I remember closing one. The most uh, memorable one for me. I closed one actually not too far from here. We're on uh, 12th Street. And uh, it was on a gravel road. And it was on a little over, what was it, 13 and a half acres. And the thing that was crazy about this this one in particular was every time we'd go out there we find something new we would find something new something we didn't see before and uh, it was always an experience see a little bit of everything down here. I mean, uh, their historical society for their homes <clears throat> is really, really, really cool. I mean, like I've stated in previous videos, uh, ranch is kind of king around here. But over there, you know, can't get a little bit of everything. Just seems like uh, it's a slightly so slower walk of life. just kind of depends on what you're looking for I mean uh, I've noticed that uh, you do kind of seem to get a little bit more house for your for your dollar up here in Harvey County compared to 
uh, Wichita or Sedgwick County, Butler County. So you just got to take the good with the bad, you know, what, uh, what exactly are you looking for? What's important to you? You know, I mean, catch a little bit of everything here. To me, it's the thing that's always kind of stuck with me about Newton in particular, just nothing but a really big, small town. And like I said, not steering you towards, not steering you away. Crazy houses. That's one house. Look at these houses. It's crazy. All right, so we're over on Main Street now. What are you? Shoot downtown. A variety here you know you can get anything from you know your late uh, late 1800 style homes to you know brand new homes they have their own Walmart they have their own dealings so I mean a lot of that stuff they already have their own little uh, split in Newton actually from if you weren't paying attention you'll run smack dab into it it's North Newton we're actually in North Newton now this is a suburb just north of Newton I mean if you're not paying attention you're gonna run smack dab into it super super small Bethel College is here uh, I believe this town was started by Mennonites it's not uh, just matter of factly you know
they have their own uh, city hall and post office as well. There's Bethel College. And there's their um, museum. Me and the wife actually went over there probably about a month ago. And they kind of give you an idea how everything on the uh, mid and night upbringing and religion and whatnot. Uh, Bethel College. Yeah, that was that was North Newton. Let's see if we can find a place to turn off to. south back into Newton on the left over on 12th Street and here we are still going to be one of the bigger uh, bigger quote unquote suburbs around but I mean you got stuff to do they have their little mural over here I've been, been up here a time or two with the wife park over there. Some people just like to hang out in park parking lots. But yeah, it's kind of peaceful, people doing their own little thing. So it's been here for a while. <laughs> but you got But you got her um, variety, that's for sure. You got variety. Bungalows, Victorian style, Tudor, I mean, ranch, it's all here. Stretch, hang out in nature, you got it here. Hang out in park parking lots, it's here. I mean, 
you got everything here, like I was stating before, any sh just about any shopping you're going to need. Walmart, Dillon's, that's going to be your Kroger equivalent, is here, so that's nice. Not all of our suburbs had those conveniences, so it's not too bad. golf was up here uh, Sand Creek Station and gorgeous gorgeous place I, you would think you would think it would it would be all right but I mean it's it's really really nice um, I, I'll throw I'll throw I'll throw a picture I'll have to do a little digging and find that picture. This was after we'd been playing for, you know, the whole day. So I'm scorched. And, uh, it's bad. I also sold, sold a house down here. I had mentioned before On 13 acres, just crazy. You get a little bit of everything down here. And we're actually right over by the roundabout that we were at earlier. There's some other spots too. show you some newer some newer spots but I kind of feel like when you hit up these towns like this you're not really looking for the cookie cutter the cookie cutter neighborhoods you know what I mean you're not looking for that you're looking you're looking for the charm you're looking for you know what I mean
if they're industrial park. Check it out real quick. Club. They have their own golf course. Sands, uh, Sands Creek Station is a really, really lovely golf course. Me personally, I don't really play. I don't really play all that much. But, uh, yeah, it's something that some people like to do. And Lord knows there's plenty of golf courses in our general area. Maybe this is for you. Looking at you, Daniel. Hey, and that's okay. I'm kind of giving you an idea of what uh, what the downtown kind of looks like. A little bit of their industrial park and whatnot. And. Throw you a nice little view of the highway can tell you you know if you're not needing to be in town if you're wanting a little space between you and the quote unquote city I've heard some I've heard from the people that I know that live here it's not all that bad I mean you're gonna have pros and cons to any city All your needs are pretty much taken care of. A couple, a couple different places for your grocery shopping and any other retail therapy that you may need. Of course, it's going to be quite lacking compared to bigger spots, Wichita and, and whatnot. But, I mean, for the essentials, you can get it all here. So, something a little bit older you know if you're looking for that old charm it's here more times than not you're gonna be able to get a little bit more for your money here you just what's important to you you know you just got to figure out what's important to you
actually right over by the roundabout we just were at uh, when we first started. I've sold, I've sold a couple houses over here. bad little spot. Like I said, pros and cons anywhere. I can tell you, like I said, if you're wanting a good uh, old-fashioned hamburger, Gertie's. You want to play some golf? You got golf. You got plenty of variety between in uh, what kind of home you can you can get into. It's going to be a, lo a lot cheaper. Well, I've found it's usually cheaper than uh, what you're going to find in some of these other suburbs, for sure. For some people, they don't want to make the drive. They're already they're already working in Wichita or somewhere else, and uh, they don't want to make the drive. Some people want a little bit more to do. So it's got to make sense for you and your situation. If this is something that might make sense for you, hey, reach out. Have a short little talk. See what we can do. See what we can get you into. Hey, if it's not, that's fine too. Either way, reach out. Give us a shout. Let us know what you're needing, what you're thinking. If this is something for you, if it's not, feel free to reach out. Call, text, email. Do what you got to do to get the question answered. Do us a solid. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified. When we kick these videos out each and every week. Till then, guys, take it easy.